my free will also needs a little guidance. Luckily, dopamine has two counselors. Dynorphins, dopamine's conscience, and serotonin, dopamine's peacekeeper. Dynorphins are the brain's built-in signal that goes, don't do that, remember consequences. They keep dopamine from acting on every shiny impulse. But if you grew up in trauma or chaos, dynorphins get way too loud. They start yelling, don't do that over everything. And that's how we end up living in constant hesitation, shame, or freeze mode. When balanced though, dynorphins do their real job, protecting you from self-destruction, not punishing you for existing. Now meet serotonin, dopamine's peacekeeper. When serotonin is healthy, dopamine has the confidence to chase goals without the panic. But when serotonin is low, dopamine gets confused. It stops feeling motivation or joy because peace feels unfamiliar. Serotonin's quiet voice is trying to signal, you're safe, you can slow down and still be okay. So low serotonin equals low dopamine too. And this is why trauma survivors feel like they'll never get anything they want, so why bother trying? Most trauma survivors live with unbalanced counsel. Dynorphin shouting through a megaphone, serotonin whispering from the corner. It's like dopamine is trying to hold a staff meeting and one advisor screaming, consequences, while the other is quietly saying, it's okay to rest. Healing means turning down the megaphone and giving the whisper a microphone. That's when dopamine stops living in fear of mistakes and starts choosing peace. Tomorrow, we're heading straight into chaos, the Bermuda Triangle. Dopamine, glutamate, and GABA. The gas, the brakes, and the thrill seeker. Featuring Colonial GABA, ready to keep these boys in line.